Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Car Question. But today we could change the name of the channel. If you look at that awesome Mechelag that we have here, I made a promise to you we're going to try everything that has an engine and today we're going into construction territory. Mike from Tracto. Mike, you brought a nice Mechelag 6MCR. This is an impressive and versatile machine. It's very versatile actually. You could do uh, like a skid steer with the machine. You could put the bucket in front to do the skid steer. You can do a menu tension as well with the forks. You could do excavation. You could do uh, everything that you want to do on the field. This machine will do in one machine. So it's Mechelac. It's strange. I didn't hear a lot of that name over here in Quebec, in Canada, in the States. Where does it come from? Well, actually, Mechelac is born in France, in Europe, so we've been there for 55 years. We started distributing the Mechelac here for the last five years in North America. So we're just starting slowly. It's been five years. We're growing up in the industry, and you're going to see more and more coming up. So this is not the only machine that you have in Mechelac, but this is one of the most impressive. At first sight, I look at it and I said, oh, it's a regular excavator, but there is more to that. You can lift with that machine. Yeah, exactly. With the forks, like when you look at the silent, that you have a lock on every cylinder so you can use it as a forklift and just move the stuff around uh, it's very very useful for like somebody that wants to move the stuff on the field on the construction site so that could be a very interesting so you only need one machine this one less maintenance a lot more money left in your pocket but let's talk about also the skid steer up front you can simply dig and the next thing you know you can bring your boom back and have contact with the machine and you can push and simply make some nice flat surface on the ground. Yeah, exactly. There's no other machine on the market that will do that. It goes about 10 uh, kilometers per hour. So at that speed, I mean, you could do whatever you want with the bucket. You could flat, you could use the material and just move the dirt. It's just so versatile that we, you will do everything on the field with that. I will look at the boom and this is impressive. You can also go into a different angle. So you can get into those really close spot to a building and dig. Yeah, exactly. This is like one of the great features about this machine is that you can be in a close environment. You could be in between the buildings or wherever you need to be, like very close to the machine. As you can see, this is three boom. An excavator usually has two booms. You can be very much closer to the machine. I could be digging beside the machine right here. So that could be like in a short space. Uh, that would be like the best machine to have. Let's talk about maintenance. First, what is the engine inside? Uh, engine is a dirt. You got 75 horsepower on it. So you won't have a small machine like that with that kind of a horsepower for lifting the dirt or whatever. This is a very strong machine. How about the emission? The emission, you don't have DPF in there. There's no urea in it. There's a DOC in it. So you don't need to do uh, any maintenance very much on it. So it's still really fuel efficient, but it's also low on emission. Once again, versatile machine, as we could say. Is there a lot of grease point on that? Uh, there's about 30 on this one, so it's not that much, but you got a central greasing point. It goes by itself in different areas. Of course, the boom, you'll have to do it by yourself, but at the same time, it gives you the chance, you know, to take a look at your machine to make sure everything is fixed at the right spot. And if there's anything broken on it, then you fix it. How about now? How does it handle? Well, believe it or not, I was able to quick attach some bucket. So it's pretty precise. If you want to go slowly, you can get right there with that millimeter and there you go. It, it goes slowly. If you want to go slowly, it can go fast if you want to go fast with it. But precision is really impressive. Well, precision is the key about this machine. I mean, we have the quick attach. There's 4,100 pounds of pressure on the cylinder that goes in your bucket. So it's going to be very precise. Uh, when you do your digging or when you need to be precise because you know you won't have any loose coming in in the bucket yeah. so this is very very important when you want to be precise and this machine is very very precise and talking about loose this is a test machine this one <laughs> has gotten into a lot of situations about 650 hundred hours on, yeah. uh, 650 hours yeah but those hours are testing yep. you know hard digging working with that machine uh, kind of uh, putting this one to the limit and when you, you've got a lot of journalists you've got a lot of construction people trying it it's hard on those but there's no loose it's feel really solid I've tried it and I was impressed so this is one impressive machine when it comes to how rigid it is yeah it's very durable but they've been there for 55 years so they've improved the machine as they go and you won't have any problem with that machine I mean the mechanic is very solid on it you can do whatever you want with it it won't break down it's it's a tank it's very very solid that's what we want Mike thank you so much for having 
having the chance to drive this machine thanks to Tracto also here in Canada. And guys, if you have any question about this wonderful machine, feel free to comment in the section down there below. Do a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you another time to test another beast like this one.